Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are again discussing serpentine receptor number two type GI GI receptor inhibitory receptor. Example of this receptor is alpha two receptor H three H four opioid receptor muscarinic two and muscarinic four. Uh, this is the GI receptor on the cell surface. Uh, crossing the cell membrane seven time one two three four five six seven this is the extracellular domain this one is intracellular domain let's suppose uh, this is opioid receptor opioids morphine are agonist for uh, this mu receptor once morphine bind here it stimulate the intracellular domain when this intracellular domain is activated it phosphorylate the alpha i and convert the gdp of alpha i into gtp this protein is in trimeric form until the alpha i is in gdp form when alpha i is alpha inhibitory is phosphorylated that is the gdp converted into gtp this trimeric form is converting into alpha i monomer and gamma beta i dimer this activated alpha i gtp then interacting with adenylyl cyclase which is membrane bound enzyme this alpha i phosphorylating this ac and it shall become again alpha i gdp when it lost its uh, one phosphate group again it bind with uh, this dimer and forming this trimer when alpha i gtp stimulate ac the conformation of this adenylyl cyclase is changing in such a way that it cannot convert atp into camp when it cannot convert atp into camp the camp cannot activate kinase enzyme and cannot open the calcium channel so calcium level will decrease inside the cell mean can no further action but this dimer of alpha i and beta i it stimulate the potassium channel when the potassium channels open the outflux of potassium occur when potassium and uh, outflux occur the cell will polarize and the resting membrane will become more electronegative and this will the cell uh, become just like inhibited cell and this inhibition means no release of neurotransmitter and biological activity will change even sometime there is decreased calcium level and this decreased calcium level will cause the relaxation of smooth muscles so morphine causes constipation so mechanism is the level of calcium is decrease this decrease calcium will relax the smooth muscle of intestine when the smooth muscle of intestine relaxed it will create constipation and with the smooth muscle of the lungs is relaxed it will produce so much bronchodilation and even there will be difficulty in breathing so this is one of the side effect of morphine ke uh, the patient uh, cannot easily take uh, respiration one morphine is best painkiller so when cell is polarized and membrane potential become more negative cell become inhibited and there is no release of neurotransmitter especially substance p which are responsible for pain 
when these neurotransmitter substance p are not releasing it will not interact with pain receptor and there will be no pain similarly uh, in case of alpha 2 alpha 2 receptors are uh, present at the narrow endings to control the release of neurotransmitter this is this acting as a check balance system uh, to per the controlling and the release of neurotransmitter inshallah we will discuss uh, the, this mechanism uh, in cholinergic uh, receptors and same is the case for m2 and uh, m4 uh, h3 and uh, h4 thank you for listening